case you're curious, they're over there now. To the right! Man, community holes are funny. It, uh, if you've ever seen Grumpy Old Men, you know what I'm talking about. Or been to probably any lake with a decent public access. 10, 20, 30 permanent fish houses all piled in the same spot. And they're there for a reason, because there's fish there. And I've never been one that likes fishing by crowds, but sometimes you have to, because it's probably the best spot on the lake. Or the deepest hole where fish pile in or whatever. But there's obviously some things that you can do to help you get more bites. These are fussy finicky fish because they've seen everything and there's always so much noise going on. You never have 10 seconds of just quiet. You're scaring the fish away. Somebody's always drilling a hole, a vehicle's always pulling up, or somebody's always hooting and hollering because they just won cribbage. But uh, that's the biggest reason that I like to slide just off of those houses and it might look like I'm on a lake with no other soul, but 40 yards this way, there's 18 or 20 houses set up. Ooh, I got a fish coming in right now. And just getting on the outside edge of those group, it's unbelievable how many fish get pushed out of that hole and around the outside edges. And I'm lucky enough to this year have a live scope unit and to see what those fish are doing down there around me and not just right under me. And one example, when we first got here, and drilled a hole, there was a pot of fish 20 feet away, 30 feet away. And the second that my buddy drilled another hole, that pod just cruised and were gone, long gone. And we popped a few holes around, got set up, and eventually they came back. And then I noticed, I was looking on the live scope, scanning around, and when my buddy just walked over to a hole that I told him the fish were in, just him walking over there spooked that pot out of there so fast. And we got over a foot of ice, there's snow, we don't have cleats on, and he just walked quietly, and somehow those fish felt it or heard it and scattered. So think about a community hole with all the ruckus going on. So getting out off on the edge, you'll actually have a lot of fish get pushed to you from all the commotion. Uh, a few other things that you can do to catch fish, there's almost like two types of fish down there. There's the really finicky, fussy, have seen thousands of baits, they're just scared for their life down there, and you got to downsize to like a 64th ounce tungsten tubby with Euro larva on it. Work each fish for about a minute straight, two, three pound fluorocarbon, and maybe you'll catch one. Or you can do the opposite, sort of like I've talked about with walleye fishing, where you can fish bigger, more aggressive baits farther off bottom, two, three, four feet up. And it's just a different mood of fish. You might not see as many and you might not catch as many, but they're gonna be the right ones. And you're gonna be using something like a 16th ounce spoon, or I've got a 16th ounce VMC tungsten mustache jig on, and it's basically like, you ever thrown a wacky rig for bass? It's like a wacky rig for crappies and bluegills, but a bigger, gaudier profile, higher off bottom, and you'll see those fish on your graph. Just the mood is so different. I know I keep saying mood, 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 but, they don't just hug bottom and come in and sniff and spook off. They'll come flying into the point where on the live scope, we have thought three or four of these crappies were small northerns. Because you see them from eight to 12 feet to the side just shoot in and hit the bait. And then you set the hook and it's like, this feels pretty slabbish like, and it's a crappie. But they don't even look like the same species of fish on the graph, just from a different style of fishing. And you might not catch as many. Uh, my buddy Christian over here is leaning into the fish right now. He's downsized tiny baits. He's definitely catching way more, but this upsized bigger bait, when I do get a bite, it's a 10 plus inch crappie. Kind of what I'm looking for and let the fish tell you what they want, but always do something different and try to get away from the crowds. You can still fish in a community hall without being in the community. Uh, another thing to keep in mind Everybody comes out at, say, 4 o'clock to 5, 5.30, that sunset bite that everybody knows, crappies, morning, evening. There's a 30-minute, hour-minute window where they just feed like heavy. And uh, the funny thing is, we're out here in the middle of the day right now. There's probably 20 houses, and I've only seen one person walk out to a fish house. And there's still tons of fish around here. They don't just show up at sunset. They might not be as congregated, and maybe not as aggressive, 
but all those fish that you hit in that evening bite window are still working this area in the daytime. We've just noticed on the live scope, they're just smaller pods. It might be five or 10 fish instead of 30 or 40. And they're more scattered out along and you'll see more of them up in the weeds and maybe less of them down in the holes as far as the bigger fish go. But get away from the group, try different times a day. Same goes for staying later than everybody. About 30 minutes after everybody leaves here, the bite turns on again for the after dark windows. So switch it up, be different, get out and catch some fish.